I have dyslexia. Growing up, I always knew I was different. But unlike a lot of other people's stories, I was lucky enough to have an older brother with dyslexia as my forerunner. He went through a lot of the same hoops with my parents, and together they figured out many of the ways needed to help us. Going through school, I never thought of myself as strongly different. I knew I had issues with spelling, reading, and writing, but I thought nothing of it. I was homeschooled and then attended a middle school for dyslexic students. Because everyone had similar struggles, it was not unique to me. It was just normal school. Teachers' plan for challenges gave us extra time and resources. Other students understood and were supportive. However, when I got to mainstream public high school, a lot of that changed. I remember I was in history class freshman year, looked around my classroom, surprised to see nobody fidgeting. Or I was in English class. Everybody was writing paragraphs at the same pace I write a sentence. Not to mention they were spelling it all correctly too. To tell the truth, it was very hard for me. I was working twice as hard in things like English just to be behind everybody else. It's really easy for me to understand the negative side of my learning disability. But over the years, I started to realize a lot of the benefits. For example, I was in engineering class, working with some of my teammates, when they asked me a question that had never dawned on me before. Brayden, how do you come up with all these ideas? Or how do you always have that big picture vision in your head? Then it started to click. It isn't in spite of, but because of my dyslexia. I have a unique and new perspective. I physically think of and connect things differently than other people. Overly creative connections that cause problems in language processing are the same brain pathways that enhance creativity. As a bonus, my ADD helps me rapidly observe and think of such new ideas. Sadly, this often happens in classes, pulling my mind away from the classwork. I have come up with a simple whole person bar chart that might help you visualize what I'm talking about. Most people view dyslexia or other learning disabilities only as a deficient. However, with dyslexia, also have enhancement in another area. It is almost like the lost ability has been moved to another area. This most often shows up in creativity or big picture thinking. You also have a personal combination of weaknesses and strengths. What challenges do you have in one area of your life that have created useful and compensating, compensating strength in another. I'm not saying this perspective alone is a solution to everything and will completely change your life, but it will help you think differently and with a greater hope to take action. I've accepted my dyslexia and learning challenges now as a difference instead of a disability. Although I have still misspell basic words and the positive parts are such a part of me now that if given the choice, I would keep my dyslexia for the strengths and opportunities it has provided me. Thank you, Brayden. I think Brayden was very fortunate to grow up surrounded by support and people like him. I, however, have a much different story than he does. When I was struggling in second grade, my parents went to talk with my teacher who thought I only needed a tutor. Upon asking her if she thought I had a learning disability, she said no and said that there was no reason for me to be tested. But that summer, just to rule out a learning disability, my parents decided to get me tested. And as it turns out, I was diagnosed with ADHD, ADD, and APD, or auditory processing disorder. For those of you who don't know, APD affects the way that my brain recognizes and interprets sounds, especially speech. This makes words like coat and boat really hard for me to differentiate. It also means that I get easily distracted or unusually bothered by loud and sudden noises, like a cart rolling down the hallway outside of an open classroom window. But even without the outside noises and distractions, APD makes it hard for me to remember instructions, especially if there are multiple steps. So back to my story. Starting that summer, I worked with my ed therapist to gain the tools and study habits that I needed to work with my learning disabilities. But my experiences over the summer and in school were quite different. I was ashamed of my learning disabilities and I didn't want to be different because like everyone else around me, I believed in the stigma of learning disabilities too. So over the years in elementary and in middle school, I ignored everything that my ed therapist had taught me because I didn't want to be different. 
or teased for spending lunches with my teachers getting help. I hated that I couldn't complete assignments with ease or study straight off of the computer screen like everyone else. For me, tools like Quizlet and Kahoot just didn't work. I had to use different tools so that I could better absorb the material since I learned differently. Finally, towards the end of eighth grade, I realized that I had to embrace who I really was. And in order to succeed in high school, I had to start applying the tools that I had learned. I chose to speak up for myself. I went to see my teachers at tutorial period, after lunch, and after school. And you know what? I started to realize that, hey, my teachers were actually pretty cool. And learning was pretty fun once the things started to click in my brain, and I was able to understand what I was learning. I stopped trying to regurgitate the bits and pieces that I could remember. As I embraced my difficulties, I lost the embarrassment that I had felt when asking seemingly dumb questions in class, because I realized that my peers around me were wondering the same thing. For them, they might have been confused by because, of, because of their phones or their friends, but at least I wasn't alone. I feel that I have escaped the judgments and verbal put-downs of the immature people around me. I've met a few individuals, like Brayden, who also have learning disabilities, which has made me feel less alone. Or maybe I'm just at a place where I can finally accept me for me and know that I am smart. I am passionate about learning, and I want to become a doctor and help the underprivileged. We have broken the stereotypes. And kind of like Brayden, I have found that the tools that I use for my learning disability have helped form who I am today. The challenges, the perseverance, the advocating, the belief in myself, and even the way that my brain functions, though different from the majority, have given me the confidence and passion to stand up here for, before you today to tell you that it is okay to be different. Your learning disabilities do not define you. They're a part of you, and should you choose to accept them and work with them, it can open your world to a million possibilities. Thank you.